good? Are, are we uh, rolling? Kidding guys, I work alone. So everyone has at least one phobia. And some of the more common ones include arachnophobia, the fear of spiders, or herbitophobia, the fear of reptiles. However, there are some phobias that are a bit less common than others, and some that you've probably never heard of. Here are five of the more rare phobias that may surprise you. Gargolophobia is the fear of being tickled. Usually tickling is just meant to be fun and playful, and almost always ends up in non-stop laughter. However, people with this phobia aren't so fond of being tickled. A person with gargolophobia will go into a panic if they feel something that can be even relatively compared to being tickled. For instance, a bug crawling on them. If tickled, it will usually leave the person feeling dizzy and nauseous. There is even a more specific version of this phobia called tyrannophobia, the fear of being tickled by feathers. Ixiophobia is the fear of fish. Okay, so this one may not be all that surprising, but the reason I put it on the list is because I've seen the effect it can have on someone. Okay, so one day while I was getting ready to clock in at work, I seen one of the newly employed cashiers huffing and puffing, kind of freaking out over by the clocking counter. She explained that a customer brought a fully frozen packaged fish up to her register. Upon seeing the frozen fish carcass, she sprinted from her station. Apparently any fish, whether alive or dead, will send someone with this phobia into a panic. But this certainly isn't the most uncommon phobia on the list. Somniphobia is actually the fear of falling asleep. This phobia can be associated with those who have dealt with really bad nightmares. A person in that kind of situation avoids falling asleep for fear of having another nightmare. This phobia can cause many problems for whoever has it, as the human body needs plenty of sleep to function properly. As odd as this phobia may seem, it unfortunately affects thousands of people every year. Phobophobia is actually the fear of phobias. So if you've made it this far into the video, you're probably clear for this phobia. People who suffer from this phobia become anxious or get overwhelmed at the thought of being afraid of an object or situation. But wait, doesn't phobophobia count as a pho- You know what, never mind. Okay, so I saved this phobia for last because I actually suffer from this phobia a little bit myself. I'm not actually sure why I have this phobia. Heck, even I think it's strange. Okay, so submechanophobia is actually the fear of partially or fully submerged man-made objects underwater. Yeah, pretty specific, right? <laughs> so think of like a shipwreck or a crashed plane sitting at the bottom of the ocean, or even a man-made structure sticking halfway out of the water. Now, I don't have this phobia as bad as some others might, so if I were to look up a picture of a sunken ship or a crashed plane underwater, uh, or anything else along those lines that will trigger the phobia, I'll usually just get chills or goosebumps, and I can't look at the picture for too long. Now, oddly enough, this phobia only revolves around large man-made objects underwater. For many people with some kind of phobia, it's only the man-made objects part. Uh, no real fear of deep sea life, no real fear of coral reefs. Uh, it's just the things that aren't meant to be there, like ships and planes, stuff like that. But anyway, every human has a phobia. Uh, some phobias are more common th than others, but everyone has one. And who knows, maybe you have a phobia that just hasn't been triggered yet. <laughs> I guess you'll figure that one out one day, huh? But anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next week.